Read in the bed and bed. Hello and welcome to Reading in Bed Extracts with me, Amanda Steele. I'm one half of the main Reading in Bed podcast team and we don't have paid advertisements on this podcast or on the main podcast so I'd like to ask listeners to support us in other ways. So this time I'm asking listeners if they enjoyed this episode then to share it with their friends and family and also to rate it if you're listening on the platform that allows you to do that. It really does help us. So now I'm going to get on to the extract, which is from a book called Witch by Finbar Hawkins. I never did no magic. Not at the time they said anyways. It was Mother who heard them. Mother could hear a frog hiccup from a mile yonder. She could whisper out a black cap nesting in the trees. Mother had old ways from far across the sea. And that's what she looked to teach us. Perhaps that's what led to it all. All the blood and death. When Mother hollered us, I didn't see them. Dill pointed down. There, Evelyn. There, Lo. I saw them. The skulkers. Men. Horses. They were coming. They knew us. No matter what Mother healed them, Cured their stock, smacked their children into the world. Here they came, like whelps, boys to fetch us, scared, angry men. Dill, get! We ran, fleet foot, wind, after catching us, and we found Mother leaning on her staff. She pressed the bag to me. She was pale as birch bark. She could not run. Her leg was twisted and scarred like a root. They're coming! Dill pulled up Mother, who only bent to stroke dirt from her cheek. Here, my Dilly Dee. She opened Dill's hand to place something. It sat round, black and heavy on Dill's thin fingers. The wolf tree stone, Mother's scrying stone. Then she looked me sharp. Get to the coven, find my sister. Look to Dill, go now. I remember that. Her face was like wax settled on wood. Her lips split. Her eyes all fire. Evie, swear you will ever look to Dill. Her face so fierce with love, I heard shouts, they were close. For my blood, your blood, your sister's blood, she pushed against me. Swear it and go, Evie. And this I have of her always, a mouth shouting furious at me. I do swear it, mother. Then I took Dill's hand and we ran. We ran to the near wood. Like rabbits before the dogs. That's what they were, see. Not men, but dogs that stank and slavered. We made the trees when I heard a shriek that shanked deep as a knife. Dill wanted to go back. But that wouldn't be. She pulled at me, kicked and scratched. Mother let shriek again. I remember her cry like a fox snarled. Evie, they're hurting her. Evie! But I held Dill fast. She gripped Mother's stone, her fingers tight white. Hush it, Dill, we'll be caught. There were four of them. They had broken her staff. They had ripped her dress. Mother brought her arm to her breast as she swayed upon her good leg, her dark hair flying, her eyes coals in the fire. I knew then she saw her end. And in that moment she saw theirs. Touch not my children, her voice echoed to the watching sky. Oh, I swear it, you all, she pointed at the four and watched her. You all will die. She was so strong, so beautiful, so alone. Then one came close and struck her face. I felt it like he struck my own. I stopped my mouth from crying out. Mother fell. How I wanted to run to her, swing high to skewer those dogs. But I had no blade. There were too many, and I would break Mother's bond. Go, Evie, for me. For my this. sister twisted like a wildcat, but I held her good. As a tall one turned about, as if he caught our scent. Quick, I pulled the dull lower as she moaned over. Mother, 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 her fingers pulling at mine. And my guts churned with shame for her hiding as I marked him, this tall one with his long black hair. He raised his arm high, like I said to hail me. Then let it fall, and his men sprang. Laughing, shouting, they lifted mother as she struggled in their grip. I couldn't go, there were too many. Evie! They brought Mother to the ground and laid her arm. And the largest, he ran and jumped like a boy at play. He jumped and snapped her arm, that sound breaking like an old branch in the wood where we hid. He snapped her arm, a 
and mother shrieked and rolled as they laughed like dogs, like men. They closed around her. I could not see. Please, four men, for me. They beat her, for Dill, over and over. Go, now. Then I felt it. I could not run to her, but I could curse them, so I did. I cursed them with all my fury. Know this, I will not rest till bound Scott, till time turn back, till light be sought, till dogs be dirt and death be done, till then, only then. Know this, I held the dull's face to my chest away from their blows. They shouted with glee, they pushed her down. Still she raised to her knees, her arms hanging as a spider's thread, broken in the breeze. My children! A voice echoed so that I will ever hear it. There was stillness, and there was mother and the men, and us watching, and our hearts beating. Then another stepped forward. He was young, not yet a man. He raised his musket high. Mother looked up to this brave boy. She spat. He swore and swung that musket so swift and smote her skull. She rolled, then did not move in the mud, and we knew mother was dead. And that's the end of the extract. So if you like the sound of Witch by Finbar Hawkins, you can buy it at lots of different places, and I'll include some of the links in the write-up. And I'll also include a link to Twitter if you want to follow the author and find out more. So thanks for listening, and tune in next time. Read it, 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 read it,